Hey folks, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We've gone to Sikritar, and our first board will be Ice to Meet You. Sikritar's claim to fame is it introduces fusion. Fusion is a relatively simple concept. What it does is whatever on the left inputs into whatever's on the right, and it's done by atomic mass. If I put two carbons together, which are six, I'll end up with a magnesium, which is 12. This is when the boards are going to start getting a little more interesting for us. But these first couple probably should go pretty quick. So let's start off with basics. We're not going to need unbonders or bonders. We've got a hydrogen. We've got a iron oxide atom, which is an FeO. And we need to put out a cobalt oxide atom. I'm not going to do hints for these. These are kind of training levels. So we'll just do these uh, quick and easy. We'll start off with red here. We'll do an in. We'll grab it. Whoops. This needed to be an in on beta. That needs to be an in on alpha. We're going to come this way. As we go by, we're going to fuse in our hydrogen to iron. So if we take a look, uh, iron is somewhere in here. There we go. Nope. Uh, there we go. Iron, atomic weight 26, goes to cobalt, atomic weight 27. So hydrogen, which is atomic weight 1, will bring iron to cobalt. So we'll fuse it. We'll drop it, and we'll ship it. We'll tell Blue it can start. So, in slow motion, we'll, we'll grab our iron oxide. I have things in the wrong place. There we go. Let's try that again. Whoops. My red fuse didn't come along for the ride for some reason. So that will fuse, that will fuse, and we're dropping off cobalt oxide. A little slower. That fuses it in, that fuses it in. Now the hydrogen does disappear when it gets fused. What's happening is blue and red just happen to be right behind each other on timing. And that's that one. 88 cycles, 26 symbols. You could do it with a single one, get more cycles, get less symbols, things like that. Our next board, Under the Ice, uh, gives you a, another story. Um, there's something about fish cakes going on that I think is put in an expansion in the storyline. But either way. So this one gets a little more interesting. What we have here is we have to build out nitrous oxide, which is two ends on a triple bond and a single oxygen. In this particular case, nitrogen, well, not, no, it, stop, restart. In all cases, <laughs> nitrogen is atomic weight 7, oxygen is atomic weight 8. So a single nitrogen and a hydrogen being bonded will create us our oxygen. So the trick here is we're going to need to bond that to a nitrogen at some point to create our oxygen. And in the meanwhile, we're going to want to build out some nitrogen. So we shall, uh, let's start blue. I'm not sure where I want to start blue. You know what? We'll just start blue out of the way. Start with red. We will have red do an in on beta. We'll do a grab here just to get our nitrogen out of the way. We'll do an in. Oops. We'll do an in on alpha. Come up this way. We'll do a fuse to turn it into oxygen. We'll come back down this way and we'll drop it off for the build. Now, the other option would be to try and time things, and that's what I think I'm going to prefer to do. So instead of dropping that there, hold on a second. So we know red's gotten out of the way at this point. So we're going to tell blue it's good to go. Blue will sink, do an in, come up this way, do a grab, come over this way. Actually, I don't think I'd better go that extreme. We'll just do that there. I'll we'll move it over by one. We'll drop it. We'll do another in. And we will bond it twice because the third bond is going to give it its third bonding. If I come in here, nitrogen can have a maximum of five bonds, so I don't want to get too crazy with it. And then we will tell it that we're done with the cycle. So while that's going on, Red will have come up here, fused our atom. 
Come back down here. Give us a bond. Come up this way. Drop it off. Ship it out. And come back to start. Um, and there. So red will come through, grab our nitrogen, let blue start up its process. Get us a double bonded nitrogen. This comes through, gives us a triple bonded nitrogen and an oxygen, drops it off, shifts it out, and around in circles. Two hundred and seventy two cycles, not horrible, thirty one symbols, one reactor. Simple enough. I could probably try and optimize that in some way, but I don't know if that board's really necessary for it. Our third research board is going to be Unknown Sender. So our guy's getting cryptic messages from somewhere. So in this case, we need to send out Neon. Now if we highlight over Neon in the bottom right, you can see that it's atomic weight 10, no bonds. Same way you can come in here and see the same thing. That's a noble gas. So what we're going to have to do is, from hydrogen, build Neon. Now the only problem with this is that, okay, we're going to want to start, we're going to use red for our looper. We're just going to step him out of the way for a second. The problem is, is we can't hold blue here as a sink until we're ready because we don't have any kind of uh, check. Our fusion reactors and our sensor reactors are unique reactors. We can't do both inside the same reactor. So it's not like I can have blue loop until it's neon and then skip out. So what would be an easy solution suddenly isn't. So let's create an easy solution. What we're going to do is we're going to have, let's see, how do I want to do this? Okay, we're going to start with... All right, let me get blue out of the way. Because the first thing we have to do... Here, let me show you a, something that happens. If I do an in and a fuse... So the hydrogen comes there, but it won't move. I have to manually move it something into here for it to fuse into for anything to occur. So what I'm going to start with is this, and just move it over. And now I'm going to tell Blue it can go. And what we're going to do is we're going to have um, Blue, we'll just have this down here as a loop. Blue will sink. Uh, let's put that over here for a second. We'll do an in. We'll perform a fuse. And then we'll come back down. Now on red, what we're going to do is we're going to have it sink around until it can get to where it needs to be. So here, let me show you the basic plan here. So we do an in, we move it over, we sink, we bring another one in and we fuse it to he uh, helium. And we're just going to get a good count going here. I think that's correct. Let me double check it. Oxygen, fluoride, nope, needed one more. Okay, so I will extend it this way. I was hoping to shorten this loop a little bit, but that's okay. Now once it's grab dropped, it's gonna come over here. We'll deliver it and send it back around and we'll ship it out. So, Fluoride Neon, off it goes. Problem, this has already given me another in. So while this is almost perfect, it's not quite. What I need to do is basically prime the system. So we're gonna start here. Our first in is going to happen once outside of our sync loop. And then hopefully, well, will that work? No, it won't. And the reason it won't is because I'll be off on my second set of sinks. So really what I need to do 
is remove an extra sink, give blue a little time to complete its last phase so that I do have a neon there. So it's gotten up to nitrogen, it's gone to oxygen, last sink, it goes to fluoride, one more round, gets a neon before red gets there. Drop. It's because I have a crossover sink here, that won't work, okay. There we go. So what happened was this crossover sink was kicking blue out one extra time. This is just enough spacing to allow the neon to build. There we go. 504 cycles. It looks like I'm off on mainstream builds. So let's take a look at that again. Our next board will be falling. But let's see if I can optimize this any. Well, there's one obvious optimization I can pull off. And that's to bring things down this way. So that I can move these components... Whoops. These components over by one, which reduces two cycles on that portion. And there is one more optimization I can make. It's going to make this very cluttered, but it will work for what we need to do. So if I bring blue over here, just get out of the way for a second. The problem is, is blue is doing two actions, where I could have red and blue do an action on the same cycle if I wanted to go for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip this down for a second. I'm going to fuse here, and we're, whoops. what we're going to do is we're going to bounce blue on a sink. So on each one of these, after each one of these sinks, I'm going to do an in, and this, and, excuse me, as this brings it in, blue will fuse it. The only problem is, is I have to make sure I don't step on myself, and I have to keep this many sinks. Just in case I need another in there, but let's take a look at how this works. So I grab drop, I sink, I in. Every time I hit a sink, it's going to rebond in. I've got, I'm missing an add there. I'm up to oxygen. I'm missing two ins. So, that, whoops. We definitely need an in here, and I missed an in coming off of this sink. Not quite sure how to squeeze it in. Oh, well, that should work. Now, if I didn't have this crossover going in here, I could tighten up this loop um, a little bit, but it should work out. Let's see what kind of um, cycles we get. Much better. We're down to 355. But I'm still not happy with that cycle optimization. I did use a crap load more symbols though. <laughs> Let's see what else I can do with this. So here's a question. What happens if I completely rip out the sync process? So let's say I tell it we're gonna sync now. I've told Red we're good to go. Let's move things around for a second. We'll clean this portion. Oh, that's not where I meant to clean it up. We'll clean that up, we'll clean that up. And what if instead of sinking here and doing a bounce on blue, I do this completely differently? So I've done a grab drop here. Now I tell blue we're good to go. And I tell blue we're going to fuse, oops, nine times, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've synced. Now when blue is fusing, red's going to be adding. Oops. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, not quite enough. So, what this looks like is we reprime the system, we sync, blue fuses while red ends, that gets us our neon, blue comes back and hangs out and waits. 
Like so. Simple enough process. Let's see how it does. That's much better. 255. I'm liking this number. But I think we can do better. Let's change things around. Because I think what we can do is have blue do the drop off. And have it come in while red gets its prime going. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of those components. And we'll cycle red back in after it's done with all of this. So let's start off red or blue. Well, blue's going to have to start here because it's going to have to do a. Oops. We need it to do a drop and an out. We're going to have it sync there. Now it's just going to have to run, I guess, a little longer because we're going to have it go here and here because we're going to want it to grab drop there. Just enough room for it to get out of the way and cycle. In the meanwhile, red will prime for the next run. So it sets up, syncs up, we build out. It grabs a neon, red starts up its next process, it outs, we've synced up almost on time. I have the out for the wrong item. That needs to be out on Psy. There we go. All right, let's see how this one does. 163. Now that's proper optimization. I'm liking that. We've gotten down to 37 symbols. I'm not quite sure if I can clean up the number of symbols at this point. Okay, so there is a way I can clean this up a bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that part. We're gonna come up here. I'm gonna do my in here. Oops. We'll come down there and come across. I'll put start here. That'll strip out a few symbols. Okay, we're still at 163. That cleaned up three of our symbols. So I don't see any other way to speed this up. Um, I'll be honest with you, I just decided to go browsing on YouTube to go see if I could find any other techniques to optimizing this. Uh, just so I could show you if there was a better way somebody else could find while I was at it. I thought you guys would enjoy this iteration of optimization. Uh, but that's going to end this episode of the first three boards on Secretar. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment. And I will see you next time.